also 32 in Leavesburg. Future weather shows that our sunshine will fade out by some clouds by midday, and there could be an isolated sprinkler or two between about noon and 3 or 4 o'clock this afternoon. And then the uh, gusty northwest winds return. So today, increasing clouds, afternoon highs in the low to mid 50s. Then for tomorrow, windy and cold highs in the mid 40s. Don't forget, heading out the door, you can grab us and listen on today's show, Radio Sirius XM Channel 108. Hold All on. right, Al, thanks so much. Why don't we spin over to the orange room and see what Carson's got? You want to come over? <laughs> yeah, sure, you, help yourself. You. Guys, here's the deal. The state of Delaware could become one of the first states to adopt mobile driver's licenses for its 800,000 licensed drivers and ID card holders. All right, let's walk you through this. The Delaware Division of Motor Vehicles has launched a six-month pilot study to test user experience and features that can only work with a digital driver's license. Those features include added security systems like requiring a pin code or possibly facial recognition to access the license on the app. It will also allow law enforcement officers to ping a person's smartphone to request their license during traffic stops. Go to social media. People are pretty split on it. Jim says, I hope this program works out well. I would also like to see it roll out throughout the country. I love it. Chrissy adding, I like this as a backup plan for forgetting your license while driving, but not as a replacement for a traditional license. Nikki says, nope, not down for this at all. So we asked you on Twitter, what do you think about a mobile driver's license? Pretty split, but a lot of you like the idea. 58% saying yes. Disapproval at 42. The governor of Delaware did release this statement saying, across state government, we remain focused on innovation to connecting Delawareans with new technology and finding new, more efficient ways to deliver services to Delaware taxpayers. This program is a great demonstration of that effort. So I'll ask you guys what you think about it. And keep in mind, other states have tested similar programs before. Iowa did it, Virginia, Maryland, Louisiana. Can you put None up the of license them again? have fully implemented it. Can you what? Can you put up that license again, the one that, that, that demonstrated Absolutely it? Absolutely we okay. can. Yes, because yeah, Carson I Carson can't physically. But no, no, they're got, so the license wrong. for the blonde lady, because I'm, um, <laughs> goes, I was, oh no, that's a, what if that's a real lady? I'm I was like, worried. A real lady named Tess License. Tess License. <laughs> but what, what, what about, about like going about to the that. airport? Okay, will they accept that? Like well, you can get on planes now using the app on your phone. So I mean, yeah. what would you have to show your license when you get you know, maybe right? Well, it'll be on yeah. your. Yeah. Right. Seems like you I think just like it with it. Photoshop, but maybe if it had like a code or something. Guys, yeah. it's all fun and games. So after a long hard day at work, <laughs> you go to get a drink at a bar and you get carded <laughs> and your phone's dead. <laughs> That's the problem. You got to wait for it to charge. And you're like, trust me. I know. I was born in the 70s. I know. Well, I haven't been carded in 20 years. I was going to say it's been a long time since I got carded. Okay. You got pop stars? I do, and we're going to start with our buddy Steve Harvey. No one can forget the comedian's infamous gaffe of that 2015 Miss Universe pageant. Steve Harvey, of course, announced that Miss Columbia, Ariana Gutierrez, was the winner of the event. Of course, only seconds later, realizing he made a mistake, he announced the wrong winner. Miss Philippines had actually won the competition. Harvey criticized for that mistake for weeks after that. He apologized to Gutierrez who has, of course, since forgiven him. Yesterday, they reunited on the Steve Harvey show to reflect. Have a look. That night right there was so crazy, man. And uh, we became friends. Her family's really kind to me. Her father, her father was who I really wanted to be cool with. Her <laughs> father, because anybody do this to my daughter, yeah, I remember. I'm going to be looking for that <laughs> for a long time. <laughs> Gutierrez says that that moment changed her life forever, and good things came out of it. She got to do a movie with Vin Diesel. Oh, not too shabby, yeah. All right, next up to Francia Raisa. The young actor sat down with Self and talked about her surgery with her best friend, Selena Gomez. Back in September, it was revealed that Francia donated a kidney to Selena, who was in desperate need of that transplant. Upon finding out that she was a match, Francia opened up about the advice that her social worker gave her before the surgery. And she told me, it's going to be hard. The recipient is going to glow and she's going to recover a lot faster than the donor is because she's receiving something she needs. You're losing something you don't need to lose. It's going to be hard and it was very hard. Selena and I both went through a depression. We both, you know, she, she had some complications with hers and she has bigger scars than, you know, I do that, you know, wasn't expected. Well, thank goodness that surgery was a success, but the recovery process was indeed hard on Francia. She couldn't pick up her dog, let alone shower herself. She is back now to being active and says the surgery has made her appreciate her next chapter in life. And finally, Will Ferrell. Yesterday, the comedian attended the Indian Wells Masters Tennis Tournament out in California. Your buddy Roger Federer, Savannah, and Jeremy Shardy went head-to-head -head in the fourth round match. Ferrell decides to crash the tennis broadcast booth and take a little shot at commentating on the game. Let's see how he did. That's a typical shardy move. He'll psych out his opponent by sitting in the back.